Welcome to News Talk and Matt Burt with Triple A. Want to get right to it because this weekend marks the end of June with yeah. the 4th of July. Yes. Next week yep. already. And this is a busy time of year. For this travel, is a, so. a definitely a busy time. Busier than any other years prior. Last mm -hmm. year, travel is going to be up almost 7%. Uh, from 2019, we're up almost 8% from last year. So that's good. And, and as far as driving, mm -hmm. let's break it down. Yep. Driving. 60.6 million? Yeah, driving is going to be the most of everyone's going to do. Um, and whether that's five miles or whether that's 500 miles, that's going to be a lot of people. The good news is gas is running about similar to what it used to be last year. Uh, might, might, might even be even lower by next weekend. So fingers crossed on that one. That's always a good news. Yes. <laughs> okay, so moving on to flying, and you say you expect a record with that. Yeah, even that one's going to be a record, up 12% from 2019, a little bit of an increase um, from, from last year as well. So, you know, pack your patients, arrive at the airport early, you know, things like that that will expedite your process or make your process a little bit smoother and mm -hmm. less stressful. And, and the airfare is, is less expensive. Yeah, now. surprisingly as yeah. well. Even, you know, with fuel costs being down a little bit, airfare is a little bit down. It's about down 2% um, from what it was last year at this time. So that is good. Average price is about $800. And this is nationwide. These numbers is aren't that locally. Round trip? Yes, that is round trip. Okay. Nationwide domestic flights, $800 more or less. Okay, and talk about this by bus, train, or cruise, <laughs> Yeah, there's there, something going on with cruising. Yeah, cruising is, has skyrocketed. Their numbers are better than what it was before COVID. So pre-pandemic, it's great. If you did want to cruise this summer, you might not get that, get, get a chance to, because a lot of the cruises are sold out already. Okay, and let's get to um, another graphic that we have best and worst times to drive? Yeah, definitely. So if you if you are driving, leave early in the morning, avoid the, the traffic. Um, worst time to leave is, you know, that afternoon, 2 to 7 p.m. Um, the days that are going to be the busiest are going to be obviously the Wednesday before um, July 4th, so July 3rd, and then that Sunday and that Monday coming back. Almost like a Thanksgiving weekend this weekend, next weekend, just because of where July 4th falls on. You know what? Speaking of not driving during 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., <laughs> that really applies to every weekday. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, when we're in triple digits, you don't want to even <laughs> touch anything in your car at that point. Right. So, I yeah. mean, you're going to be slowed down quite yes. a bit. All right. Thank you, Matt, for, for being with us. us this time.